All right, so now let's look at the master theorem to solve recurrence relations. So the background of this is we are given, say, a problem of size n. We are breaking up, breaking that up into, so given a problem of size n, uh, break it up into problems of size n over b uh, making, so how many such problems b such problems so if you break it up into b problems each problem will be of size n over b so then you solve a of those b problems okay, and obtain so you can say B sub problems. So solve A of those B sub problems and obtain the solution for the larger problem. So the time to solve problem of size N is the time that you spend to solve problem of size N over B, how many such problems you're solving? a such problems is what you're solving plus the time complexity to combine those solutions okay uh, so this is to solve the individual sub problems and then you have to combine those solutions to obtain a solution for the larger problems this is the time complexity to combine the solutions all right so a typical situation is you'll be given with A, B, and D, and you want um, it's like the uh, like this, and you want to solve for uh, the T of n using the recurrence relationship. All right, so let's start with the simple thing. So given this, your A is going to be what four, B is two, and D is um, this is. All right, so this f of n is typically written uh, given as n rise to d. All right, so we can say this is uh, a is 4, b is 2, and d is going to be 1. So b rise to d is 2 rise to 1 is 2, and a is 4, so 4 is greater than 2 rise to 1, which is 2. So 4 is greater than 2. So a is greater than b rise to d. So out of this three formula, um, it will be this. Always remember how to remember this formula. If A is less than B rise to D, which means the D term is dominating. So the time complex is simply N rise to D. If A is equal to B rise to D, then both are dominating. So T of N is N rise to D times log N. If A is greater than B rise to D, then the A term, this term is dominating. So this is T of N instead of N log A to the base B. Okay, so there's no d term over here. So now let's do this. A is 2, B is 2, D is also 2. So B rise to D is 4, A equals B rise to D. So it's going to be theta of N rise to D log N. So N square log N. Now with this, it is A is 4, B is 2, D is 3, 2 rise to 3 is 8, so 4 is less than 8, so A is less than B rise to D, so T of N is instead of D Q, uh, N rise to D, which is N Q. Now with this, A is 2, B is 2, this is N rise to 0, so D is really 0, so B rise to D is 2 rise to 0 is 1, A is greater than B rise to D, so this is going to be this so n rise to log a which is 2 to the base b which is 2 so log 2 to the base 2 is 1 so this is theta of n okay now let's do some uh, um, some um, Um, more problems uh, 
All right. So it is A is 3, B is 2, D is 2. So B raised to D, 2 raised to 2 is 4. So A is 3, B raised to D is 4. So that is let B A is less than B raised to D. So 3 less than 4. So the D term is dominating. So T of N is theta of N square. Now with this A is 3, B is 3, D is half. So 3 raised to half is 1.732. So A is greater than B raised to D. So it is theta of N log A to the base B. So n rise to log 3 to the base 3, a is 3, b is 3, right? So n rise to log 3 to the base 3, which is going to be n rise to 1. Now with this, uh, a is 4, b is 2, but this is log n. But we know log n is really what? Log n is going to be less than n as n increases. So I can I can say uh, the whole thing is T of n is 40 n over 2 plus I may have to use a word document let's see So T of N is equals 4 times T N over 2 plus uh, N square N to the 1. Now you had log N here but we know that's going to be less than N right. So I can say this is 4 T N over 2 plus N rise to something that is less than 1. Okay, so uh, why is that? Because if if this coefficient is one, that will be n. So you rise to something which is less than one. So this is going to be uh, log n is going to be this term is the whole term is going to be less than n. Okay. So if it is n rise to 1, it's going to be n, but if it is n rise to something less than 1, it's going to be less than n. So we have a situation where a is 4. Don't I remove this? Okay. So where a is 4, b is 2, and d is less than 1. So b rise to d is 2 rise to something less than 1, which is going to be what? Less than 2. Um, so 2 rise to something less than 1 is going to be less than 2. So I can say a is going to be greater than b rise to d so this a is greater than b rise to d so what is the formula it's going to be theta of n log rise to log a to the base b so the whole thing is in the numerator oh, sorry the exponent so that will come out to be um, you guys understand what I mean here, right? B to the A to the base B. So this whole thing will be in the exponent. So that's going to be log four is A B is two. So n rise to log four to the base two, which is four is two square. So this is log two square to the base two, which is two. Okay. Let me break it up if it's not clear. So n rise to log 4 to the base 
two. That's what we have here. The whole thing is in the new exponent. Right. So this is going to be n. Um, we can copy it. Uh, this 4 can be written as 2 square so now this is going to be n this square can be written like this 2 times log 2 to the base 2 so that's going to be uh, n log 2 to the base 2 is 1, so it's going to be n square. Right? Now with this, you have n square log n. Right? So n square log n. is going to be is going to be greater than n square for sure right it's going to be greater than n square but it's going to be what it's going to be less than n cube right so what we have here in square is less than this term and square log n less than n cube which is this so if i were to represent this as an n rise to d Okay, if I were to represent this as an n rise to d, that's going to be a d with what is the value range of the value of the d? It's going to be between 2 and 3. So my d over here is going to be between 2. So my exponent d is going to be n rise to something like this because <clears throat> let me see if I can So this is going to be n square n cube n square log n. So n rise to something which is greater than 2 and less than 3. So I want to kind of write this n square log n as n rise to d where d has to be between 2 and 3. Right? So now you are really going to find what? You are going to find from this problem what is your b? b is 3 right a is 6 b is 3 and we know that d is going to be greater than 2 and less than 3 so b rise to d is going to be Stop. 
So b raised to d, as you see, is going to be 3 raised to 2 less than d less than 3. So it's going to be 3 squares 9 and 3 cubed is say 27. So this is going to be something greater than 9, definitely. 3 is at least greater than 9, right? And we know a is 6, so we know then 9 is greater than 6. So this b raised to d is going to be greater than a. So a is less than b raised to d, so the d term is dominating. So t of n is n raised to d. And n raised to d, we know it is n squared log n. Okay.